Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back and watching another video. A little update. I know it's been a while. Uh, but I wanted to show you around what's been going down. And finally, I uh, have a design done for... It's not much. But the storage building that I was working on last time you've seen it, it was not even half finished. Uh, lost progress on it once. So now I'd like to show you the what I have made uh, to house it in. And it's this right here. Nothing special, but it is a building and over here you can come in uh, not sure that's probably temporary maybe I'm uh, not sure what kind of door I really want but over here um, is our storage and I know it may be a little a little dark uh, it's kind of intentional but everything should be uh, unspawnable for mobs. So that's why the the half slab floors uh, and they sh I know they can spawn on chest on the PlayStation, but there is like a uh, few torches. So keep them from spawning there. This is the bottom half slab here. Uh, shouldn't be able to spawn on the redstone. Uh, here, uh, they can spawn on hoppers. Uh, I do know that. But I put bottom half slabs across there to prevent that. And across the chest here, which still allows you to open the chest with a half slab on it. Uh, stuck a couple torches there. This line is temporary. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, and stairs. Uh, they cannot spawn on stairs. So everything should be within light level or unspawnable. Uh, because I'm not sure what kind of light source I want right now. But I didn't want anything to spawn or any mobs to bad mobs to spawn until I did get it worked out. Did this right here. That's our suit, our iron armor, a little piece of glowstone there. Uh, just put a little glass around it, try and make it look a little bit more fancy. Uh, over here, another major project I have. And it's a huge hole in the ground. <laughs> uh, been digging this out. And our, the scaly spawner over there that I showed you a couple videos back. Been using it to repair my tools because I put mending on them. Uh, all things have mending now. So we should be good. Uh, I've repaired them quite a few times from just digging this out so far it's a 64 by 64 area and the reason I'm digging it out is basically because I wanted to uh, no real reason just wanted to dig it down to bedrock I still have a long way to go but I um, wanted to just dig a hole and, you know, uh, it gives you resources, uh, stone, cobble, gravel, dirt, you know, grass, uh, and things like that. So 
just wanted to do this and you can see where all I've dug so far I uh, kind of did it in the middle to get a little bit of all resources but over there this half is in the desert and this half is you know um, uh, Savannah I believe and you know uh, so I get grass and dirt and sand and sandstone uh, doing it that way yeah uh, just you know and I've gotten quite a bit so far can run back up here I just laid uh, nether rack out just to kind of mark off it's a 64 by 64 square like I said uh, one reason I put it here as well is because of this ravine that runs through it I figured you know it's just a little corner but it would save me that's a lot of digging right there uh, so I figured it would save me that much anyway you know so did that and believe if we go up here the ravine kind of continues on past it but yeah right here here's the ravine uh, and it's still you know it kind of goes over here too I could have moved it uh, and covered all this but I kind of wanted to do it close to my storage system so that's why that hopper line is there uh, I can you know dig until my invo inventory is full just run up there dump it all out and it'll automatically sort everything I put in there then just come straight back down and dig again so that's another part of my reasoning for putting it here so everything's worked pretty good we will run back in here and see I have a ton it may not look like much on video here but this was a ton of sand and sandstone and I've got more cobble and honestly I don't know what I'm going to do with it uh, uh, I mean I'm a hoarder like I've said before when it comes to this game but I mean you know I mean I don't like much having what four chest full uh, stone looks good uh, got a ways to go on stone but we do have our silk touch there for that uh, grass I put silk touch on the shovel and we got a ton ton of grass so there's that uh, but what I would do is I would dig off one layer of block of grass block and let the grass grow black grow back and dig it up again just to get more grass that way so now if we do another project like this we won't have to wait for dirt to turn in to grass we can just put grass down uh, so but the sandstone is a lot I have a lot of it uh, sand yeah quite a bit of sand uh, part of it like you see these chests aren't uh, like it didn't fill the bottom up first that's because I would come in here and just throw it in here I'd come in here click on here throw it in here but if you do put it in the system it will fill bottom to top got not much gravel uh, and everything I started nether wart uh, I am going to extend this that's why I made this building at least over here for right now so but this chest is still empty I don't have anything here I started uh, nether wart right here but there's like I, you know like I said just started that uh, clay 
wanted clay. Uh, that's all I have for clay now. So we'll go over here. What else was that? Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you guys something. Uh, all of you may know, uh, but I didn't uh, until I was playing around on with classic crafting one day. And I don't know, like, I don't use this block. I have before just to do it. But all the granite and diorite and andesite, you know, they're ugly blocks. And you dig them up, I mean, you hate to waste them. So, what I found out on the PlayStation 4, I know, uh, I asked my brother, and he said, oh yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> But I'm going to tell you guys, just because I didn't know, and the only way I found it is accidentally messing around with classic crafting. Uh, so I'm going to show you right here, uh, the crafting grids like this when you click into the table. Uh, you can go to help and options settings user interface and turn that on there but what you can do is any diorite granite or andesite you can put in there and it will give you stone slabs so you don't have to have silk touch you don't have to have a furnace using fuel cooking up stone you can just use this here and you can mix and match the game doesn't care looky there and we just turned all that and just we got two stacks and ten of stone slabs and you can do it with andesite so I just wanted to show you guys that in case any of you didn't know. Uh, because like I said, I didn't. And I've never seen a video of anybody saying, hey, you can do this. I found it by accident. So, and I asked my brother, and of course, you know, oh yeah, everybody knows. So, you know, I'm not sure when that was a thing or if it became a thing. I don't know, but that's why I have so many slabs is because all the diorite and granite and andesite I've turned into stone slabs simply because I like the look of the stone slabs better so just wanted to let you guys know that just in case you didn't um, over here I want to show you guys one more thing before we head out uh, haven't really done much other than mining and completing this. Well, it's not, you know, it's not complete, but it does have a building on it now. Uh, I plan on making a pumpkin farm. Or at automatic, maybe, I don't know. But to get pumpkins, make some jack-o'-lanterns, maybe. So we'll do that. Uh, one other little thing show you guys is down here and I'm thinking about moving those birds because they've really been getting on my nerves is this right here uh, it's nothing nothing fancy at all but I put the uh, stone slabs that I got from all my free diorite and granite and andesite <laughs> uh, I figured I'd spruce it up a little instead of just being you know the walls looking like this this is look this is so horrible you know but this is our enchanting room uh so i did this here trying to help the looks of this room 
a little bit better I may do something else but for now you know it looks better than what it did so yeah uh, that's about it guys uh, I think it's about all I have for you uh, been doing I'm sorry I know that I say um about five bazillion times <laughs> but anyway uh, we got that hey big man uh, there see there it goes again I'm sorry I can't help but we got that built uh, got a huge hole over <laughs> in the ground and got some beds laying everywhere got loud cave noises in our ear loud cats barking dogs birds that think they're whatever at the moment yeah yeah this guy's still about to blow up guys look at oh my gosh anyways uh, this is accidental actually didn't mean to put that there uh, do have something special planned for you guys something that I said I wasn't going to do but I did it uh, I have done it already but I may release that video tomorrow the day after this one it's not long it's a short video uh, but I uh, did something for you guys just so we could do it and maybe it'll help us out in our adventures and this here is just uh, the blocks uh, have had in my inventory I just threw a chest down but building this thing here So that's about it. That's about all I know. I haven't went back and got any more uh, shulker boxes or anything. I haven't been back to the end. If I do, I'm sure I'll tag you guys along. Mm. You know, I got a few shulker boxes that you've seen last video. But this is mainly what I've been doing. Uh, I haven't... I'm, keep saying uh, I can't help it I can't stop once you pop you just you just can't stop uh, this cat I'm not sure why but I was over here digging and I don't know if it died or I don't know what happened but next thing I know I hear a cat meowing and I come around the corner and this dude is sitting here so I don't know if something killed it or what happened either way but he's over here that's why he's over here and I got a lot of digging to do here's some andesite and I will sh I'll show you guys that just so I didn't see this earlier Oops. get a little bit of this just so I can say you know I showed you guys you know that it does work I still haven't figured out I don't know if maybe they patched it or what but you can't place water in the end anymore but I checked out my old world and that I have the Enderman farm on and it still has the water in it so you know maybe if you had water in the end before it saved it it looks like but if you do not as of right now you can't place water so maybe they'll come up with a fix for that but 
I'll show you guys here. I have diorite here, I have granite here, and andesite here. And it doesn't matter, you can use all three, even if they're polished. So if you go here, make polished ones, it doesn't matter, guys. You can still turn it to slabs. So it's a cheaper way of getting slabs, you know. Whoops. Uh, that's what I've been doing. So, yeah. Just wanted to let you guys know that. And I will continue digging and running through tools and running to the scaly spawner and repairing them, which doesn't take long. Uh, just a few minutes. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I hope I can get more out for you guys soon. But anyways, with that said, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And I hope you enjoy the content. Thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.